This tool we're going to take a look at today is going to help you automate any browser based task with the help of AI. Allow me to introduce Skyburn. Skyburn is a tool that helps you automate browser based workflows using large language models and computer vision. It provides a simple API endpoint to fully automate manual workflows. This is where it's able to replace brittle or unreliable automation solutions. Just take a look at this demo video, which shows Skyvern's visualizer, allowing you to debug every interaction that Skyvern takes on the web. Hey, I'm here back here to show you how to debug tasks that you ran. So in the demo video, I ran a task that generated an insurance quote on Geico. And when you open the visualizer, you'll actually see two tabs here. One is the execute tab that lets you create new tasks. And the second is a visualizer tab that lets you go visualize tasks that already ran. Every time you run a task, you get a unique ID associated with it. And you can see them on the left here. So I'm just gonna click the first one, which is the last one I ran, which is this task for Geico. And you'll see here, well, you'll see here a bunch of steps. And uh, Skyburn works in steps. So every time it takes a set of actions on the page, it basically creates one step. And so if you ever wanna know what step it took, you can always click on the screenshot and you'll see what Skyburn saw at the time, including any annotations it made. And if you ever want to debug what actions it took and why, why it took them, you know, we have a ton of information here. Please feel free to explore any piece of it. But the big, the most important part is this thing called LLM response parsed. And here it tells you what actions it's taking and why it's taking. So it says here, the user needs to navigate through the website to generate an auto insurance quote, click start my quote. And so that's what it did. And if you go back to the action screenshot, you'll see what happened after that action was taken. And so if I jump, if I jump to the next step, for example, um, this thing takes a second to load the artifacts, you will see, you know, this is the, this is the state it started at. It's very frequently the state of the previous step. Uh, and these are all the screenshots I took. And going back to the LM response, it says, okay, now we need to input the zip code in. So we input some text and then we click this thing. Now continuing down a little bit, let's see if we can find an interesting spot. So this one here, so tell us about yourself, first name and last name. And going back to the action list or the LM response as we call it, it's putting in Chris Bacon. Notice it didn't put the P because it didn't ask for a middle name. So there's no Chris P Bacon coming in here. Um, but you can see here, it gives you a reasoning on why it did what it did, a confidence on, on the specific action it took and why it took that action. And so if I keep going, Further down, okay, now what is your address? It's trying to fill that out. Same thing, I look here, okay, it's putting in 965 Garfield Avenue, and then it's clicking next. And we can keep going through the entire set of, set of quotes. So for example, here, we hit a page that was, I would say unexpected in the workflow because we don't specify any information for it. And it's basically, hey, there's a previous quote found, you wanna use it. And if we look here, it says, okay, the user asked if you wanna pick, the user's asked if they wanna pick it up. Since the end goal is to generate a new insurance quote, there's no information about whether previous quote was for auto insurance, let's not use it. And you'll see the confidence is not 100% here. And there's kind of an inkling that maybe, uh, if you want it to be 100%, you want to add some more information into the navigation data or into the navigation um, goal. And so it, it'll have a list of actions. And, you know, Skyvern can actually take tens of actions here before um, proceeding to the next page. And each action will have an action screenshot associated with what it took. So here you can see, click no, and then click next. So next is grayed out, and that's it. Thank you. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, wasn't that amazing? Skyburn has endless possibilities as to how you can implement it into real world scenarios. And it's something we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video. We're going to be taking a look at how you can get started with it, taking a look at the back end of it, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Skyvern. This is a tool that helps you automate browser based tasks using large language models and computer vision. It offers an efficient way to tackle your task, and this is by streamlining the whole process. 
Now with Skyvern, it dynamically analyzes visual elements and it adapts to new sites without custom codes. It leverages large language models and it intelligently navigates complex scenarios where it simplifies tasks like obtaining insurance quotes or conducting competitor analysis. Now with a simple API endpoint, you're able to take Skyvern to replace brittle automation with a reliable and adaptable solution. Just take a look at some practical use cases of it. Firstly, you have explainable AI, which allows you to have transparent explanations for its decisions, and it offers clear summaries and justifications for every task that is being infused into Skyvern. You have proxy networks, where Skyvern supports proxies, where it allows you to target any country, state, or even precise zip code levels. You have capture support, which is allowing you to solve any capture, and it facilitates the completion of this complex workflow. You have authentication, where Skyvern supports authentication into user accounts, including handling 2FDA or TOTP. And lastly, you have data extraction, where it's able to extract data from workflows in any schema desired, including formats like CSV or JSON files. Now, let's just take a look at some real world use cases of it, because there's a lot of examples which showcase its usability. Now, this is an example which showcases the automation of procurement pipelines. It's able to streamline the process of acquiring goods or any sort of service through the automated workflows. And you can see this with this website over here. You're able to order parts for a truck and you're going to be able to execute this task using Skyvern. Now, this is a task that you can actually deploy and you're able to try this demo on your own and this is by installing it later on which is something that will showcase now this demo over here is demonstrating the streamlined navigation of government websites for tasks such as registering accounts or filling out any sort of form and you can see that it's making the process efficient and hassle-free as you are able to deploy Skyvern to do simple tasks like this on the web. Now, this is a demo which is showcasing how you're able to retrieve insurance quotes from insurance providers in any language. It is illustrating a seamless retrieval of information in another language, and it's showcasing its ability to complete an entire workflow regardless of the language that is used. And you can clearly see that there is a lot of flexibility as to where you would use this. Now, in my opinion, I would definitely be using this to help me gather and extract a lot of data from various websites. And it's a great way for me to have this autonomous functionality from Skyvern to process data like this. Now, I recommend that you take a look at this demo video, which is around seven minutes long, but it showcases each and every demo a little bit further in detail. I'm not going to be able to showcase all of that in this video, but you're going to be able to see and get a better idea as to what you can do with Skyvern with this video. So how does this fully work? Well, before we even get to the step-by-step -step process explaining that, we want to take a look at where it actually originated from. This was something that was inspired by the task-driven autonomous agent that was designed by Baby AGI and AutoGPT. These two frameworks were the original OGs in the space in terms of creating a task-driven autonomous framework. And now Skyburn has basically built upon it by using similar sorts of ideas from them and now incorporating Playwright, which is able to have the capability to interact with websites using browser automation libraries. And now you can see that Skyvern is able to execute tasks on web platforms quite efficiently, what plus having the ability to have this task driven autonomous agent. So you may be wondering, how does this all work? Well, it starts off with the prompt that the user gives to Skyvern. Now, what Skyvern does is that it first draws the bounding boxes, it identifies what needs to be worked upon within that web page. It then goes to step two, which is parsing the HTML and extracting the image. So it retrieves the boundaries. It detects what is needed using computer vision and is able to collect and extract the data from the images. Thirdly, it extracts the different sorts of elements. So the interactable elements, in this case, you have a date that you would want to specify with the drop down menu. So it's able to retrieve the information out of that. And then it goes to the step fourth step, which is calling a large language model to plan the actions. In this case, the LM is going to given is going to be given this prompt where we're trying to generate an insurance quote. What should we do here? And the LM responds, action one, fill in the license date of 2010, etc. Then what it does is that it executes actions. So 
then we can see on the Geico page, it's able to then execute the different requirements that were asked we previously, and it executes and fulfills those requirements. And lastly, you're able to repeat this overall by drawing the boundaries on the next page, and it does the exact same steps that is needed on the next page on Geico. And we can see that it operates in the six step process and it's able to execute different web-based tasks quite efficiently. Now, if you're wondering as to how you can get started, take a look at the quick start tutorial, which will showcase how you can get it started. You clone this repository, go into that folder by typing in CD and typing in the name of the repository, set up the script, start the server, and you can then it configure it additionally afterwards. So this is how you can set it up. I'm not going to be going over it because it's going to be too long of a video, but I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can get started. They also have a cloud version, which is in private beta, but once it is released, I'll make an update on the Twitter to showcase when you can finally access it. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. This is definitely an amazing tool that will help you automate browser-based workflows with the help of large language models and computer vision. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Start positivity. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.